Hi, it's Sandy, and right now I'm going to make a green salad for supper tonight. Um, this one's actually called Claire's Mixed Green Salad with Feta Vinaigrette. Um, I don't have mixed greens, so I have some spinach here. I'm going to use that for the base for my salad here. So I'll go ahead and open that up and dump that into my container here. Um, I like to go ahead and do a little bit of tearing to my greens. Uh, that helps release some of the phytonutrients, the nutrients that the greens have stored um, from the sun. And also makes it maybe a little easier to eat so it's not in such uh, big pieces. But I'll just go through here and just do a little bit of tearing. And then um, we'll start to add, build our salad and add some vegetables here. So to this, I am going to add, let's see, you can see there a little better, um, some vegetables that I have chopped up here. So um, it calls for a couple cups of cucumber, about eight cups for your base of your salad. Again, you can use mixed greens, spring greens, uh, whatever type of greens you like. Again, I'm using spinach today. Um, I used a carton of cherry tomatoes. It said about one and a half cups and a fourth of a cup of red onion. So I've got that in there. Um, this recipe also called for radish. I do not have any radishes in my home today, so I decided to substitute with a little bit of uh, carrots. I have some carrots that are shredded up that I want to start to use up. So I'm just gonna put in like a handful of those. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of toss this a little bit with my knife, getting it mixed together. And then for the dressing, it was simply um, some, I called for olive oil and canola oil. I just use, tend to use olive oil in my kitchen. So I put in um, the olive oil and uh, the amount of canola oil that it called for as well, just as olive oil. And then I added the red wine vinegar and um, the apple cider vinegar. It is a good idea if you're trying to make your own uh, dressings and marinades to keep some of those vinegars on hand, um, generally the balsamic, the white, maybe the rice wine vinegar, and then a red and a white um, wine vinegar. So this also called for um, lemon juice and then some feta cheese. So it's a feta dressing, and I put in about a fourth a cup of feta cheese. Looks like it's separating there a little bit. I'm gonna do that a little whirl, and then just go ahead and pour that over top of my salad. Now you could always add more feta to this. It called for a fourth of a cup. This will probably make, oh, six servings at least. Um, and a fourth a cup has about four grams of saturated fat, so it'd be pretty low in saturated fat overall. Um, you get a little bit of saturated fat, of course, from your oil as well. I'm just gonna hit this with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And again, that's how easy it is to, to make a simple green salad for your supper tonight. Um, it's easy if you find a base recipe that you can kind of work off of and then add some of your own flavors and maybe use up some of the vegetables that you have in your fridge that you want to get um, used up or get rid of. And you'll have a great salad for supper. Uh, thanks for joining.